Next will be uh, Eric Theodore Cartman. Guys, I saw the Terrence and Philip movie. Who wants to touch me? Welcome back to Colin in Cleveland. I keep seeing new faces in the neighborhood and it keeps making me so happy. Thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate seeing your comments. Thank you so much. Today I thought I'd do my South Park collection. If Let's take a look. I saw South Park stuff all over the mall. It made me really bummed out for some reason. It made me feel like people were in my room. You might notice a case here. This case gives me so much trouble, but it's actually still one of my favorite things in the collection. It's a complete episode commentary on every episode for the first season. I thought it was really fun, instead of the traditional mini commentary, to have full-length commentaries, because I actually got the feeling I was sitting down and listening to Matt and Trey have a conversation. Guess we'll start down here at the bottom. All right, so I've got some of the collections, The Cult of Cartman, Christmas Time in South Park, uh, the movie, of course, Bigger, Longer, and Uncut. I was excited when the Blu-ray came out for South Park, Bigger, Longer, and Uncut, because it had a commentary track by Trey Barker and Matt Stone. Imagination Land, a trilogy thought by many to be sort of another South Park movie, and South Park, The Hits, Volume 1. I've got two copies of Chef Aid, the South Park album. South Park, Bigger, Longer, and Uncut, the soundtrack. Mr. Hankey's Christmas Classics. Of course, Basketball, the soundtrack. Absolutely love Basketball. The Book of Mormon, original Broadway cast recording. Orgasmo soundtrack. Uh, Team America World Police soundtrack. And, and Orgasmo on VHS. You got the South Park Monopoly game down there the complete book and lyrics and then also sort of a behind the scenes look at the making of the production you know south park episode guides for the seasons some uh, comic type stuff a strategy guide to the original south park game that's awesome speaking of the original games video original games are games, sweet south park they're trying to bug us to do another video game south park rally i absolutely love chef's love shack and south park rally well that was the bottom shelf Let's go upstairs and see what the second shelf looks like. Got the totally sweet DVD trivia game, exactly as described. Uh, one of the classroom sets they put out, those are pretty cool. A collection of Cannibal the Musical and different versions they put out. That was the college film Trey and Matt made that kind of helped get the ball rolling when they came out to Hollywood to try to sell that. Uh, they moved on to Orgasmo as things were really heating up and getting rolling with South Park. And then as South Park was in production, they did basketball, I think somewhere around the second season of South Park. I've heard Trey say that the second season of South Park, they were too focused on other projects and they got distracted and weren't there on the show. But I think the second season of South Park is phenomenal. Moving on to That's My Bush. I don't know what I expected to hear on the commentary tracks, but I was really surprised when Trey Parker and Matt Stone talked about what a fun time they had on That's My Bush. I guess because the show only lasted one season, I, I didn't know that they'd have very positive memories, but they seemed like they loved it more than anything. The exact opposite would be Team America World Police, the puppet marionette film they made. It was very laborsome, and they seem to have not made any films since. But obviously, Book of Mormon has become a huge hit, so we'll see what happens with future projects. Moving over, I picked up some Chinese versions of South Park. Those are kind of fun. And let's get to the U.S. Region 1. Seasons 1 through 7, 8 through 14, and 15 through 23. Well, if you've made it this far, maybe you're brave enough to see what's at the very top. Who cares? Kenny wanted to stop by and say hi, and I really appreciated that. And uh, he brought me a gift. I don't usually condone firearms, but... It's coming right for us! Fun little throwback guide with some older South Park toys around 2006. A promo for the 10 seasons they'd released up to that point. Wow, that seems like another life. See the PlayStation 3 South Park Stick a Truth video game? I still stuck with the video games. For the PlayStation 4, the fractured butthole. <laughs> You got the chef experience. One thing I love about this DVD is Chef Aid behind the menu. It's like a VH1 mockumentary where you have famous music artists talking about Chef as if he was an actual person and an inspiration to them. It's hilarious. Got a little box of butter. Yes, it's me. Yeah. 
including the book, The Poop That Took a Pee. That was great. Got some old German videotapes. I just thought South Park in German was too hilarious to pass up. And speaking of VHS tapes, I got Volume 9, which has the Mexican staring frog of southern Sri Lanka. Oh, better get my gun. But of course, also one of my favorite South Park episodes, Conjoined Fetus Lady. Well, you're probably ready to go. Thanks for coming by. I really appreciate it. And I hope I see you soon. Take care.